This is analog horror, one of the best horror genre in YouTube right now. According to the Gamer website, Midwest Angelica is the most scariest analog horror on YouTube, but since I'm good today, I'm gonna teach you how to make a perfect analog horror. Don't worry, it's 100% free on PC and mobile. Let's start and hop into the game. We all know by now that CapCut is one of the advanced editing software, but it's simple, easy and faster to edit your video. If you already downloaded CapCut, you can skip into step 2, for who doesn't? You guys can follow my step Fight. Who needs step 1 when you can download it on Windows Store or Play Store for mobile? <laughs> Clips are the most important element to include in analog horror. No, I don't mean stealing video. For example, if you want to do EAS scenario analog horror, before the scenario, it must have clips for intro like commercial, news, or something like that. And then, you can add this video in any time after 10 seconds of video. Here take a look of example. Berikut adalah sorotan peristiwa itu yang bermula malam semalam. Kira-kira pukul 9 malam semalam, letupan kedengaran kapal X. Okay, so say that you want normal analog horror. There's the style. 1. Just a normal analog horror. Or 2. A analog horror that acts like it's normal but it's not. So, you need to collect or find the clips of the video or image on the internet. Make sure it's usable or I'll kick your ass. Um, sir, you didn't tell us about the script. Oh, uh, well I can explain. Stop it! Analog horror doesn't require script idiot nerd. Your mom doesn't love you, your dad left you, your grandma doesn't love you, and you're gonna grow up to be Adam Sandler. Okay, but for real, learning CapCut is kinda hard. You know what? You can watch tutorial by Joey Edits Guzik just analog horror tutorial. Honestly, this is my favorite category I was waiting for. I can give you my formula if you want. By the way, note, subscribe if you want content like this. These are the only VFX that fit to your analog horror. But the VFX that everyone uses is Retro DV4. And it looks like this. But the VFX I'm using now is Betamax 1998 and TV Call. Uh, also before I end this video, analog horror must be spooky and very scary like Backroom or something like that. Okay, I love you, bye bye.